In this video, we'll show you all the tips and tricks related to the Acronis Universal Restore, a unique technology developed by Acronis that allows you to recover and boot up an operating system on dissimilar hardware or a virtual machine. It handles differences in devices that are critical for the operating system startup, such as storage controllers, motherboard, or chipset. From the technical viewpoint, Acronis Universal Restore allows changing the so-called Windows hardware abstraction layer. It installs boot device drivers, such as hard drive or RAID control drivers, into the system during the recovery process, so that the operating system can boot from the boot device. If there are proper NIC drivers present in the folder with the drivers, Acronis Universal Restore will copy them into the restored system and will schedule their installation on Windows boot up. Acronis Universal Restore is extremely useful in the following scenarios. First, recovery of a failed system on different hardware. Second, hardware independent cloning and deployment of operating systems. And third, physical to physical, physical to virtual, or virtual to physical machine migration. Let's have a closer look at the second scenario that a managed service provider can face. Let's imagine that one of your customers decided to replace their old server with a new one and therefore need to clone the old operating system with all its applications, files, and folders to ensure business continuity. The situation is exacerbated by the fact that the customer is a small company located about 500 miles from you and doesn't have sufficient technical skills and resources to perform such kind of operations on their own. Moreover, the customer's new server has some important ad hoc drivers that need to be installed. The good news is that you have a Cronus Universal Restore so that you can perform the whole cloning and deployment process remotely as easy as one, two, three. It should be noted that the Acronis Universal Restore is available in, by default in many Acronis products, such as Acronis Backup Cloud, Acronis Backup On-Premise Solution, and Acronis True Image. In this video, we will have a look at the Acronis Backup Cloud. However, the corresponding steps to be done in other Acronis products are similar. We assume that you already created a backup plan for the old server of your customer and have at least one full recovery point. As the next step, you need to boot the target machine with the Acronis Bootable Media. In order to get the Acronis Bootable Media, log into the Acronis Backup Cloud. Select the customer's old server in the list of devices and press the recovery button in the right pop-up panel. Click more ways to recover and press the download ISO image button. Save the ISO image in a network folder and use it to boot the new machine. Once the bootable media is loaded, select the option Rescue Media using your keyboard. Click Manage this machine locally and press the Recover button. In the section marked What to Recover, click Select Data and navigate to the desired backup location. Click on the Archive View tab and select the backup that you would like to recover. In the drop down list, Backup Contents, select the volumes and disks that you would like to recover. In order to eliminate the possible issues with partition resizing and clearing, we recommend selecting the option Disks instead of Volumes unless you need to apply custom partitioning to the target system. Select the desired disks to recover and press OK to proceed to the next step. The system will automatically load the information about the target machine in the section Where to Recover. Check that all the settings are correct and proceed to the next step. As the next step, you need to specify a location where the Acronis Universal Restore should search for drivers for the new system. For example, 
If the drivers are on a CD or DVD or any other removable media, set Search Removable Media to On. In turn, if the drivers are located in a network folder or an external drive, click Add Folder and specify the folder with the drivers. Since the new server of our customer requires some ad hoc drivers, it might be advisable to put those drivers in a separate network folder and specify that folder at this stage. Press the OK button to initiate the recovery process. As soon as it's over, you can log into the new machine and make sure all the files and folders have been successfully migrated from the old machine. Well, that's it. Are you excited about the capabilities of the Acronis Backup Cloud? You have an opportunity to try our easy, efficient, and secure data protection solution right now. Just go to our website at www.acronis.com and request a trial account from the Acronis Backup Cloud. Have fun.